USA. Welcome to Flag Stewards. Be a stud citizen message. That's right. Our weekly message about how to be an awesome, good to each other citizen. For Thursday, April 29th of 2021. Um, that is quite a sight. A view from Highlands Ranch. Literally the the uh, ranch, the old ranch here in the community we live in with Long's Peak and Flatirons off in the distance. Flatirons of Boulder. All right. So before we get to uh, today's Be a Stud Citizen message, we always want to know, at, uh, as we do at our school, homes, and businesses, where's the flag at half-staff today? Well, no new half-staffs. We just had the continuing half-staff in New York and the state flag in Pennsylvania. And click on the link below to find out about the honorees. So what is a citizen? Yeah, we're getting back to the basics here today. Getting to the basics of um, being an American, knowing what a citizen is, a U.S. citizen. Uh, this is mainly for students, but hey, I, I think there's probably some adult citizens out there who, who don't know all this stuff and could be reminded of it. So for nearly four months now, we've been mostly relaying stories about notable U.S. history moments and figures within our weekly Be a Stud Citizen messages. So going forward, we'll mix in some more civics. What is civics? Well, yeah, that's the study of the rights and duties of citizens. We'll do that within these weekly memos, and it seems appropriate and a bit overdue since our tagline is Be a Stud Citizen, and it may not be fully understood. So we're going to kick it off by relaying some civics-related definitions to all student citizens and adults who should know this stuff. All right, so what is a citizen? A citizen's an, uh, a native, someone who's born into or naturalized, meaning adopted, a uh, member of a nation, naturalized, meaning that they've gone through the citizenship process, become a uh, naturalized citizen. Citizens obey their nation's government and are given certain care, like national defense, by their nation. And obey, Let's, don't get carried away with obey. Um, we obviously have our right uh, to opinions, uh, but uh, in general, our free government has done good things for us. And uh, when we take care of it, it takes care of us. When we take care of our nation, our nation take care of, takes care of us. So what is a U.S. citizen? A U.S. citizen is someone who's born in the United States and is granted rights, duties, and benefits as such. Birthright citizenship obviously is the most common and easiest form of becoming a U.S. citizen. Whereas naturalization is a set of steps one must complete as a legal immigrant to become an accepted or adopted U.S. citizen. There's two ways to become a U.S. citizen, or these two ways, I should say, are spelled out in the 14th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution, which is the supreme law of the land. And to round out today's first kind of short citizenship lesson, we need to uh, explain the commonly heard terms especially when the news discusses activities along our U.S. border with Mexico as to what is an alien, an illegal alien, and a resident alien. So simply, an alien is in the U.S. is a foreigner, someone who's born in and has citizenship with another country. All right, that's an alien. An illegal alien is someone who enters and lives in the United States without approval. In other words, they cross into America without a passport or a uh, foreigner visa, or, or they've stayed longer then it's been approved by the government. That's an illegal alien. And lastly, what's a resident alien? Well, it's a foreign citizen who's legally, with the government's approval, lived in the United States and maybe working towards becoming a naturalized citizen. All right. Hope that mouthful made some sense. Um, it can be complicated, but if you think about it, it's pretty straightforward. Who's a citizen? Who's not a citizen? Who's an alien? Who's a legal alien? Who's a resident alien? Hopefully, uh, it's clear as mud now. All right, now it's time to recite the pledge. Students across America at home or school becoming more informed citizens by this week's Be a Stud Citizen message. Let's unite and recite the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. That's it. That's this week's. Be a stud citizen message. Go out and be an awesome, good to each other citizen. Keep America beautiful. And remember, in God we trust. <laughs>